Well, you know what? I've given myself some time. I've relaxed. I've played some Wario Land. I've played some Fire Emblem. I've played a lot of other things. But I think it's time to return to the Tarm Ruins. And try to take on this nightmare. Just one more time. You know, it's pretty funny also, because we're on the mid-boss, and they used to call... They called the, uh... The actual bosses of the dungeon from in what is it? Uh, not Link's Adventure. That's Legend of Zelda 2. Um, Link's Awakening. They called the final boss the Nightmare. So it all comes full circle. But let's stop kidding ourselves. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Oracle of Seasons with Neelix Fu. And already we're losing more life than we're gaining. I've just started this episode off to a great start. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do before I do anything else is I'm gonna act is I'm gonna make sure that I find near full health. Because if you weren't here for the last episode, we took on the mid-boss of this um this here dungeon thingy. And we failed terribly. We also took on a few Armos, and the fact that we failed terribly for five rupees did not help that at all either. I'm... Oh, come on. This is not fair at all. I'm just about fed up with this dungeon at this point, so... I'm not even gonna start with you guys. I'm just gonna go on, make my way to higher ground, make my way to greener pastures, and see what I can see. Aha! Thought you could run from my magic boomerang! Not anymore, you can! Uh, no, we're not going in here. It's suicide! Hearts, hearts, I love hearts. Thank you, bats. Thank you, keys. For once, for for once, you are actually being sort of nice. All right. Oh shoot! How do I want to do this? So the problem is, I would like to move backwards. But, yeah, that happens. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. I didn't get hit as much as I thought I would. Boomerang! Don't fail me now! Oh, no! No! You stupid knights! Why do you have to get... Why do you have to ha be right-handed? Why can't you be left-handed? Ah! Little... Oh! You guys respawn! Okay, that actually did make me happy. I did not know the... I did not remember that those guys respawned after you killed them. And every single time you kill them, they give you a fairy. Making them the best goddamn enemies in the game. Oh lordy! <laughs> Alright. Let's not screw this up. I want to have full health for this guy. If I am correct, we don't have to relight these. Yes, I am correct. Since we've already opened up the staircase, it doesn't matter. However, this does matter. Okay, let's get out Rock's Feather as well, because if I remember correctly, we're going to have to jump over some guys as well. Well... Alright, not a problem, not a problem. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Alright, let's just go. Rock's Feather. We'll pull out Rock's Feather, or the sword, as we need them. How about that? That sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, we're actually doing much better than we did last time. Look, we, we got through the entire door instead of squeezing through half a door. 
And, oh yeah, we did have to come up here, that's right, because the staircase is right here. Alright, alright. Stal hooded Stalfos. Not a problem, not a problem. See, I'm, try I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be a lot more optimistic about it than, the, than I was last time, because... Let's not go back there. Okay, okay. All the armored Stalfos, or how, sh whatever they're called, shrouded Stalfos are down. Okay, we can move on. Not yet to the mid-boss. That's what I'm waiting for. I keep expecting the mid-boss to be right around the corner, and I keep not expecting to be ready for him. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I don't remember what... <laughs> I am Vaya, Onox is an oil henchman. I heard someone was trying to stop Onox, but it's just some kid. Fine, I can handle you. Alright, I believe we only need our sword, but the boomerang can make it handy. Yeah, because we don't have a ranged weapon except for the boomerang and... Oh no, we do need to use our sword. Ouch! Pesky kid, take this! Oh, we lost our ranged ability for a sword. Oh well. Ow. Well, at least we can kill all these with the magic boomerang. That makes things a little bit easier. And we can do it with a noble sword anyway. You know what? For this guy, I think I'm just gonna wait near the middle and let him come to me because I don't... Bully! That's it! I'm serious! I'm super duper serial! <laughs> uh, come on, Dad. I, I mean, what harm can he really do? I just feel bad for him because I, I feel like he doesn't have any friends. Didn't he say his name was Vyer? Like, Vyers? Like, the dog Adonis! <laughs> Nah, I think I'm just gonna call you mid-boss. <laughs> such... such insolence! You will not call me mid-boss, I am the Dark Ad I am Lord Vyas, the Dark Adonis. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Because we have... I have a friend named Vyas. Fine! Goodbye! Oh, hey. So they actually introduced this first in... Link's Awakening, or whatever. Ouch! I paid for my overconfidence, but I'll report this to Onox. Gahaha! <laughs> oh, that was actually really fun to do the voice of. Um, no, they introduced the hopping mechanic to, in, um, Link's Awakening, so. Oh, oh, ow, ow, no! Shoot! <laughs> See, if I had just gone straight, I would have been fine, so. To me, that's actually kind of funny, because it was all my own damn fault, but... Eh, let's, let's move on, Doc. Right, just jump over these guys. Whoa, pretty self-explanatory. We've already swum beneath them. Swum. <laughs> We've already swam beneath them, so... Okay, I wasn't sure if that was one that we had to press down or not, because I wasn't sure what we'd press it down with. Alright, gambling time, guys. Who says right and who says left? I say left first. And nothing happened. Oh, the stairs did appear. I don't know what happens if you press the right first. Uh, apparently nothing. Maybe it's like Link to the Past where they just drop snakes on you. I have no idea. Let's find out, actually. Yep. Actually, this is a good way to grind for health, if I remember correctly. If they didn't give us anything but scent seeds. Alright, so there should be, yep, Floor Masters. But we can take you out in two hits now! You're no longer, well, you're still a threat to us, but you're pretty much not a threat anymore. Okay. The Dark Adonis. I can't get over the fact that I did not realize his name was Vyers at first. Ooh, ooh, Magnet Gloves again. So this is the a actually the... No, 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 no. This is actually the only way you can 
straight out kill them, so. Enjoy it! Unless you're Blue Bomber I Unless you're Blue Bomber Imo, because he's like, oh, I hate the sound. Even though he talks nothing like that. <laughs> Alright. Whiz robes. Yeah, these guys are whiz robes. I never knew until I actually looked it up. Because they look nothing like the whiz robes from the other Legend of Zelda games, but. Yeah. Whatever. Alright, so we gotta hit all three of these. And keep them all red, which is much easy, much harder than it sounds. The easy way to do this would be to just work back from the farthest one up. But of course, I have to do it the hard way, because I'm stupid like that. It's everything, right? Okay, moving on. But you can also just work your way from the back one and get all three of them at once, because on its way back, it does hit the switches. That's why there's the whole issue with not being able to get it right away, but... Eh. Okay. More jumping. More jumping. Okay. No. Okay, so we have to move you over to here. That's not hard at all. Sorry, I'm trying to think while I'm doing this and I'm, my commentary is probably horrible right now because I'm trying to think. Um, no, we need the boomerang. That's what you get if you don't play a game in forever. You get people who don't know what they're doing. What is that done? What have you done? Aha! Stairway! That makes things a whole bunch easier. Do we have the boss key at all? Uh, where would that be shown? Oh, that would be shown here. Yes, we do have the boss key. <gasps> we are done with this level. Well, almost. Almost done with this level. Oh, hey! Fairy! That, that's very useful. Two fairies! I have no idea who this boss is! Let's go for it! Oh... Actually, you're not that bad, if I remember correctly. Just... Well, good thing we've got the green holy ring on. Um... How do we fight you? I think we use the magic boomerang, don't we? No? Yes, we do! We do! Okay, so when the mouths are open, you hit them with the magic boomerang. Ha-ha! Because he almost never actually opens the mouth that's facing towards you. Which... That's all the chance. That's where the challenge lies, so... Oh, and as you destroy more mouths, he'll speed up. Making him more challenging. Oh, come on. Come on, I had that. I had that mouth! Um, pretty much, though... This guy is kind of a pushover, if I re again, if I remember correctly. Although I don't don't remember what happens once you actually get rid of the mouths. So I might be lying. Through my teeth. Let's get out my favorite seeds, of course. Pegasus seeds! Blink away! Ah! Oh, come on. I had no problem with the first two mouths. Well, half the problem is he's moving out of my sight before I can even get the boomerang off. Oh, we're gonna die on this guy, aren't we? Oh, oh. Close. Close, close, close. Where have you gone? Okay, you're coming down to charge me again. That's okay. We're less than full. We're less than one heart. That's okay. K2, we died. That's okay, though, because... You know what? I'm getting used to dying in this game. 